Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the 432Hz music channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to convert your old cassette tapes into mp3 files. Oh yeah, so I'll show you um, about three different methods of how you can do this. So if you don't have an old tape player, you will absolutely need something to put and play the cassette in. And if you don't have an old one, you will have to get one you must absolutely have something to play the tape before you convert it. So you can get a used one off of eBay. They run around $20 or so, but keep in mind they are used, so make sure they work when you get them. Another option is to get uh, one of these guys, and it is, lo looks like basically a cassette player, but it actually has a um, slot for a USB stick, So and it automatically is supposed to convert your cassette once you plug in that USB stick, it's supposed to convert your cassette into MP3 files and split them up automatically. Um, mine didn't work. I got it brand new. So there's another way you can do it. So obviously the first way is to get this um, cassette converter. They run about $15 to $20 on eBay. Brand new. The way you do it, you just stick your tape in, stick the USB stick in, uh, press play and press record and then it's supposed to automatically record it and split the files into your USB stick then you can take the USB stick plug it into your computer and you will have it on your computer you can add it to your iTunes library etc so that's one way if you already have a cassette player you don't need to get this um, special one with the USB stick so if you already have a cassette player you will absolutely need a cable, either um, auxiliary cable such as this one. This is an auxiliary cable. It looks like a headphone jack. Make sure that you have two little lines on each side. The two lines means it's stereo because you want stereo sound. You can stick this. Hopefully your computer has a microphone jack that accepts stereo signal. Okay, so you would basically plug one in into your tape player after you insert your tape so tape player should have a headphone jack so you insert the auxiliary cable into the headphone jack of your tape player okay the tape should be already in okay i'm just gonna make it like this tape should be already in and the other end should go into probably your computer this computer doesn't have a microphone jack Okay, but some older computers or some other brand computers, they have a microphone jack and hopefully, hopefully it's stereo so you can always double check. But um, if you don't have this option, you can still um, hopefully have a recorder, something like this or more simple. Uh, this is the H4N Zoom, really good recorder. So as you can see, it does have a line, but it's actually it's, it's going the other way so it's actually sending the sound so for this to work properly you would need a cable such as this it's a splitter cable so I'll show you one end one one end it looks exactly like the auxiliary cable okay with two little two little lines so it's a stereo signal but the other end of it it's actually split into two quarter inch cables just unplugging it right here whoops okay so this is the other end as you can see it's split over here and one is the left channel the other one is the right channel and that way the signal goes into left and right channel you press play on the tape cassette player you press the record button here and it's going to record this into a digital file and then you can you know take out the memory memory card the sd card put it in your computer and boom you have all the files right there so that's another way of doing it if your computer for example doesn't have a um, microphone jack that's stereo it doesn't have to be this uh, recorder, it can be a more simple one. Once it's on the computer, you can open it up, you can subdivide it into 
multiple songs instead of one long file you can just split it up if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll do my best to answer them and if you have um, any other suggestions on how to transfer music from old cassette tapes to mp3 files let me know and enjoy the music <laughs>